So before you start a calibration, make sure that you connect your ProHD to a USB 3 port or higher. You will notice that it's USB 3 by the blue plastic color inside the ports. It's the same for the scanner uh, as for the laptop. So just don't use a USB 2. Some of that laptops still have it for mouse connection, but it's too slow. Next thing is I will have to make sure that my power cable is connected. You have to connect it to your local um, grid and of course here inside the cable for the scanner. And afterwards you will hear turning on the fan for the temperature compensation of your ProHD. So we have to start the software right now for the calibration and if you currently install the software for the first time that calibration modus will pop out automatically. You will not have to start it manually. In my case it's like that. And um, I will start the calibration manually. To start a calibration you just click here on calibration and uh, you will see as well the date when it was last recalibrated but as we are start again from zero I just have to click it I will do the calibration in this case with the color pack you might not have purchased that but it's the same as if you would do it without, you will just not have to do the white balance calibration, you will see later on. That's it. But something you might not notice always very clearly is the orientation, that means the position of your scanner towards your calibration board. What is the reference are these three points for your orientation, personal orientation and inside that animation you will see here the start button animated, that means the other side will be the cable side, so you will have no problem to calibrate and if you would turn it wrong, as well as software tells you, but just to have the orientation. The very first orientation is just straight away in a normal direction to, to the plate, go upwards and the software tells you if you are too far away and moving up it will just fill up your targets position that you will have to do right now we are going to place the calibration board into the holder and make sure that the single dot on the calibration board is looking downwards it will stay like that so First orientation that you will have to do looking is let's say towards the camera in this case. Just make sure that the calibration board doesn't shake anymore. If you are ready and if you are sure that you are in the right position, what is not my case, I will just have to turn this wrong. I do it according to the screen on the right side. And just moving up, slowly trying not to leave the center. The center is, uh, let's say, visible through that star and it should be in that right angle place. Next position and that you should calibrate is turning the calibration board clockwise to what I had before just check if you are in the right position it's just 90 degrees more I can see and I just go up 
90 degree rotation clockwise see it in the screen and just restart again another clockwise rotation it's always the same in this case And you can be even a bit shaky in your movement. The software is powerful enough to compensate that. And in the case, if it's not, it will tell you at the end if you calibrate it successfully or not. This is a, the error that you have received. And this is a pixel arrow that's not referring to millimeters, so you cannot connect that to a millimeter arrow. And right now I will have to do the white balance calibration. To make it easier for you to understand me and follow me in English, I'm just going to switch to English as language. The symbols on the points I'm clicking on the software are always the same, so you will have no problem to understand it anymore in German. To do the white balance, as the name is telling already, you need the white side of the bar. You just push the start button and you're going upside down as long as you need to receive this message that tells you that you are ready. Just for all of you who didn't notice, I'm pushing the back side play button always to start each calibration step but I think it's quite clear it's the same like in a CD player for the guys of you who still know that okay so that's basically it we're done your Pro HD is calibrated and we're ready for the next step start scanning <laughs>